Well guys, this is kind of where the, what it looks like the place is that I work at. <coughs> I don't have a sign, well, there's a sign way over there, right by the subway sign. You can barely see it. Eventually I'll show you kind of a better picture of what it looks like. But, uh, yes, hello, I'm Frank Slauson, and welcome to another Frank Slauson Show video, and our daily vlogs continue. You know, we're on the 16th day already, and it's pretty much you can say as you can say it's the middle of the month and uh, yeah I'm pretty uh, excited that uh, everything's working out it's day one of my two-day trial but uh, I really think today went pretty good uh, there's a lot that I have to learn obviously you know that goes with any job but being a housekeeper now and cleaning the rooms it's not that hard it really isn't. It's the easiest job, and the pay, like I was saying yesterday, is just—it's—it's it's perfect. It's—it fits in, in the category where I'm comfortable anyway. It's not as much as what I made at, at uh, you know, at Hugo's. You know, it's not <clears throat> nine dollars an hour, but uh, it's uh, definitely better. You know, and it's more comfortable. I, and it's not as many hours, but it's you know, it's not as much stress either. You don't deal with a whole lot of people. It doesn't matter what the weather's like, rain or shine or icy cold snow. There's always, it's always open. <clears throat> you know, and it just, you don't deal with a whole lot of people. You have a cr small crew that you work with and, you know, and uh, the, the crew that I've been, that I work with today seems like they're pretty, they, they know what they're doing. That's for sure. That's why they trained me in. But, uh, so I pretty much can say, you know, even though I, I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm going to pretty much say that I have the job. Because it's, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's just cleaning. It's housekeeping. And that's why they give you a two-day trial because they want to see how you do and how you evolve. Uh, so, and I got here early, which was good, you know. I woke up at 7 o'clock this morning and got here by 8 o'clock, you know. So, that's also a good thing. So, everything pretty much has been good. There hasn't been nothing bad and I don't think tomorrow will be anything bad too, regardless of what the weather is like. But uh, anyway, that's just a small little report. Uh, tomorrow I will, guarantee, you know, I'll, we'll finally find out if I got the job or not. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I can say that I did. Uh, I'm not going to try to jinx myself, but I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that's why we do this. <laughs> but uh, I don't really have a whole lot to say tonight. I'm going to watch SummerSlam, and I, and I know you're probably saying, "Well, Frankie, that was two days ago." Well. I never, never got to watch it. I mean, I, I, I you know, we'll watch a little bit of the result. I got my results a little bit. We kind of heard kind of what happened, and I did watch Raw last night. But uh, I figured I'd, I'd watch it anyway. I mean, I got a buddy that uh, you know that watches pay per views, and you know he just let me borrow his uh, tape of it. So no big deal, no big deal. I wanted to see it anyway in its entirety. I heard it was a pretty good event for it being the third time that. Uh, Summer Slams been broadcasted at the uh, Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. So I don't know why they keep doing that, but maybe they got a contract that makes it just easier to have it there. But hopefully they'll have it somewhere else eventually. But other than that, what, uh, doing that, I'm probably going to watch the movie Extract. That's a Mike Judge film. Uh, so yeah, I, I look for uh, look forward to tonight, relaxing and after putting in a hard five hour day, five hour day. <laughs> I can actually say that I've actually worked today and actually it feels pretty good. It's a good feeling. I feel like I, like like how Alberto Del Rio has finally fulfilled his destiny and became a, a WWE champion. Well, that's how I feel. I mean, I don't feel like a WWE champion, but I feel like I fulfilled a destiny. Maybe not dreamed on being a housekeeper, but I finally fulfilled the, 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 the task, the goal of finding employment. So that's... And it feels good. So, anyway, I'm Frank Slauson, and we'll see you tomorrow for another great daily vlog right here on Frank Slauson Show. Bye bye. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Frank Slauson here. I'll turn this down here so you can hear me a little bit. Well, <clears throat> as you notice, uh, today's video is in two different parts. It's two different days. Uh, yesterday, I was wearing my Shay Carl, uh, if life is worth living, then it's worth recording shirt that I bought. Way back earlier this summer, uh, as I got, I bought it was a gift from from, uh, from family, but I 
I kind of bought it. They'll give me some money and I just bought it. And then uh, today I'm wearing my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt. <laughs> totally awesome shirt that I got at Walmart for like seven fifty. But uh, well, uh, for those doubters, anyway, the ones who uh, I guess I can say the trolls, you know, as I, I mean. The last time I checked, trolls were people that lived under the bri under a bridge, or they used to be like collectible toys, I guess that pe that all people used to collect, I guess. <coughs> but for the trolls anyway out there who uh, who kind of laughed at me or were making fun of me a little bit about the fact that I that I had to start out with a two day trial for my job <coughs> to see how I did, well, I can definitely tell you and rub it in you guys' face that. I did get the job, I did get hired, and he, you know, boss that I have is a pretty cool boss, way cooler than the bosses I had at Hugo's, and I can say that, and I can say that pretty proud, because I'm pretty sure the people at Hugo's still watch some of my videos, but the guy who hired me is, is, a, is a great person, great guy, uh, nicest boss I could ask for, uh, now that I'm back, you know, I'm you know, back in the saddle, so to speak. No more unemployment for me. Now, the videos, you know, some people kind of, a couple people sent me an email asking, well, are the daily vlogs over? No, no, no. Now they're going to get better. Because now that I know that I will have, be able to you know, work here and make money and, and just, you know, be happy. I can buy a couple of DVDs a month now. You know, I can do, I can do things now. That I could never do for you know during the summer that I really wanted to do, go see a movie, you know, go visit some friends that I haven't seen for a while. Having this job now is very very beneficial, and it's because of you know just everything working out the, the way that I I knew it would eventually. You know things have to work out eventually. Uh, I just really appreciate it. So it's nice to be back, you know, in the workforce again and. And finally uh, had the opportunity that I, I never thought I'd ever have again. Uh, I felt like April 21st was going to haunt me for the rest of my rest of the year, but nope. Now I finally fought the demon uh, that was April 21st, 2011, and I just hope that <clears throat> I can last here for a long period of time, whether it be two and a half years again, five years, whatever. You know, and, and this job you, you you continue to go up. You don't go down. You keep going up. And the job I have is very easy. It's just housekeeper. So, anyway, so I just want to let you guys know that uh, today's video was a two parter. The videos are going to get better. Tomorrow, we start day one of our, my pretty much just a four, three day, three to four day uh, anniversary party. Uh, tomorrow, uh, which is uh, April, or which is August 18th, Thursday, August 18th, 2011, celebrates my thir third year three years that I've been on YouTube and this year we're gonna do it we're gonna have fun with it this time because uh, if the interview that I have lined up with Carl or Liz a lot doesn't happen we'll do something different but Friday for sure I'm going to the John Anderson concert and I'm bringing the camera with me and on Saturday it's the uh, annual last ride seventh annual last ride blues festival at the casino and uh, with the main performer John Mayall who's known for bringing in uh, talents as, such as Eric Clapton and so he's a big name and we get to see him for free so I asked a concert cost $25 for a ticket but it was you know it's worth it because this is this gonna be Dan and I hanging out and uh, it'll be fun so anyway Frank Slauson and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another great Frank Slauson show video bye bye <laughs> oh, come on now. Try to hit. <laughs> Try to hit. Okay.